Mastering short answers using have and has with ease. Hello, English learners. Today we are going to explore a very important aspect of conversational English, short answers. Specifically, we're going to focus on how to use the auxiliary verbs have and has in short answers. Mastering this will not only help you sound more natural in your conversations, but also improve your overall comprehension of the English language. Before we dive into short answers, let's take a moment to understand what have and has are. They're known as auxiliary verbs. Have is used with the pronouns I, you, we, and they, while has is used with he, she, and it. They're typically used to form present perfect and past perfect tenses, but in this video, we're focusing on their role in short answers. Let's look at a quick example. If someone asks, do you have a pet? You can simply respond, yes, I have, or no, I don't have. Now that we understand what have and has are, let's see them in action in short answers. In English, it's common to answer a question without repeating the whole sentence. This is where short answers come in. We use have or has along with yes or no to respond quickly and efficiently. For example, if someone asks, has she finished her homework? You can respond, yes, she has, or no, she hasn't. The same goes for have. If the question is, have they arrived yet? You can say, yes, they have, or no, they haven't. The key to mastering short answers with have and has is practice. Try using these short answers in your daily conversations. Here are some more examples to practice with. 1. Has he eaten breakfast? No, he hasn't. 2. Have you seen this movie before? Yes, I have. 3. Has it rained today? No, it hasn't. 4. Have we met before? Yes, we have. Remember, the more you practice, the more natural it will become. And there we have it. You've learned how to use have and has in short answers. It might seem tricky at first, but with practice, you'll be using these like a pro in no time. Keep practicing and stay tuned for more videos to help you master conversational English. Happy learning, and until next time, goodbye.